Hey guys, it's your Winston Think Bank here with another video for you guys today. And today is gonna be my top 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 favorite Wrestle Pro wrestlers. Now, this is just based on experiences meeting them, their in ring style, and just all overall everything about them. So let's get started. At number 10, we have Chris Payne. Now, Chris Payne is a really great wrestler there. He has been working a lot more indie shows along the East Coast, and is really great. His move set is varied from top rope moves to be able to take his opponents down with grapples and submissions. It's really, really great. He's also a cop in real life. He really puts that into play with his ring gear. His entrance is pretty great. His music, really, 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 really good. Well, as part of the EJ5, really awesome wrestler. Really awesome. Number nine, we have the Filipino Sumo. Ba, 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 Fala freaking Ba. Now, Fala Ba, he can wrestle anybody and have a great match with them. For a lot of the big talent that they've had at WrestlePro shows, he's the one that's always been the one to fight them. Like, he fought Michael Elgin, Johnny Silver, Bobby Fish before he went to WWE. He's been trusted to face all of them in great four-star matches, especially the match with Michael Elgin. Really great match. He can have a great match, anyone. So that's number nine. Number eight, we have the creator, the Raw Ray, the Raw Way Ram, Pat Buck. Now, Pat Buck is the creator and owner of WrestlePro. Now, I'm not just putting that on there because he's the owner. He's actually a pretty great wrestler. Most indie promotions, the owner doesn't even, has never taken a bump, has never taken a working punch. They just don't know how to fight. But Pat Buck is a great wrestler. He's been in the WWE developmental system for about two years in OVW and FCW. He's just great. He's pretty good with doing moves like drop kicks, jump off the top rope. He's a great grapple based, strike based wrestler. So, number seven, we have Danny Moff. Now, he is a former Ring of Honor superstar. He's very great in the ring. His moveset varies. He can either hit you with a huge clothesline, hit you with a cannonball in the corner, or a burning hammer. Do it. He is do it all. A lot of these wrestlers can do anything in the ring there. His move file is great. I feel like he's improved since leaving Ring of Honor. He's great, phenomenal, and that's why he's number seven. Number six is Creative Pro graduate, the first Creative Pro graduate, Johnny Clash. Now, Johnny Clash, he he's really good. And I have this storyline where, like, every time he has a match, he's like, if I don't win this match, I'll retire. And they keep on coming back and back. And he's having greater and greater matches each time. Especially his last match with Flip Gordon. Possibly match of the show. It really stole the show for me. Just great match overall. He is a great wrestler as well. He can have matches with anyone, and he would do great. In WrestlePro Rumble, he did very well. Lasted to the final three. Very, very great wrestler. He's booked well and has some great, great matches. Number five is Delroy Alexander. Now, Delroy is amazing. First off, he's really great to his fans, which I look in for a wrestler. And also, his moves are really, really great. He can do a, He does really great hip tosses. He can, like, put you, like, ten feet in the air and drop you down for hip toss. He's really, really great. He's really stood out for me. At first, I'm like, oh, okay, he's not that bad. But, like, for the past couple months, he's like, I like this guy a lot. I see a great future in him. I see him going to be in NXT, possibly the WWE. He may not look like he could, but trust me, if you see his wrestling skill... And all that. He will be a great addition to the NXT roster. Number four. He's been competing for about 15 years. Sean Donovan. Now he has done so much great work for the past 15 years. He's done so many tryout camps with Ringo Bond, But he has not been signed. It really stinks. But he's a great wrestler. He's a great heel. Which I cheer for all the time. I know him a lot personally. Not, not a lot personally. But I know him pretty good. And I always cheer for him. And. He always just stays in character and says, stop it. And it's just hilarious. His wrestling skill is amazing. He does great, great moves that really, like, take the wind right out of you, which is really, really cool. Number three is too cocky Kevin Matthews, a.k.a. KM on Impact. He is probably one of the best wrestlers on the independent circuit today. He, without a shadow of a doubt, can have a great match with anyone. 
from someone that's in the main event spot in Ring of Honor or New Japan, or is at the bottom of the card on shows at the flea market. He's amazing. I know I've known him for the past two years. Trust me, guys. If you want to see a great independent wrestling match, go to a show that Kevin's on because he will give you a Matt Wrestling Clinic, and he's hilarious. Number two, going down to the Bridge of Bones. This was a very close between two, one and two. Because both of these guys are really good. So number two is Anthony Bowens. Yes, Anthony Bowens. He has been wrestling all over the United States the past couple of years. He's really made a name for himself, especially going on a tour in the UK. Just all around a great wrestler. His moveset is varied from diving or striking you down. His finisher is very, very unique. I'm actually going to probably use that move when I become a wrestler myself. Just amazing. His, he's just all around one of the best unknown si unsigned wrestlers. And number one is the Croatian sensation, Mario Boker. Now, he is a great, 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 great wrestler. He's been wrestling for a long time now, about seven, eight years. Now, I know that doesn't seem as that long, but being an independent wrestler, not to get like that much attention. Now, he's in impact, but for going that long without getting any like contract negotiations, he hasn't had any in, until impact, which really shocks me. But anyways, he's great, phenomenal. Is pro makes some of the best matches I've ever seen, especially when I make my top five favorite matches. He's on there. I think he may be on there twice. No, he's not. But when I make my fi my top five favorite matches, I'm gonna do that video. He's on there and almost mat or well, in match of the year. Well, match my favorite match there. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please hit like button. Put suggestions in the comment section down below. Subscribe, share with your friends, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.